Welcome to another episode of St. Vincent Untold Stories. On this episode, we give you as a recent update on the last of a volcano in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And we look at how government workers got paid uh, this month and many more. Big ups uh, to all of my subscribers. And if you are new to the channel, hit the like uh, button, uh, the subscribe button, and hit the bell icon. Because you are going to want to see this video and uh, many more like uh, this one. Uh, this month again, we are asking the big man a question. How did the workers get uh, paid last month? And uh, how did they get uh, paid this month? Uh, before the volcano relief money came in, you all said uh, that you were unable uh, to meet the payments to pay the workers. You see, uh, this is what is going to happen. If you guys are using uh, that volcano relief money, uh, what do you think uh, that is going to happen uh, to the persons that were most affected uh, by the volcano? Uh, by the time you are ready to fix those houses, the money will already run out. Uh, where is the monies uh, that the country is making uh, to pay the public servants? Isn't the country making any money? Uh, where are the industries? Where are the factories? Where is the city uh, that you promised at Arnesville? At uh, this time, we want you to tell us. What is the main export crop in St. Vincent and the Grenadines? And what is the resource uh, that is bringing in the most money into our shores? Uh, right uh, now, uh, the country is stagnant, extreme poverty, uh, no accountability or anything like uh, that. Uh, chuck loads of items uh, going to the homes of party supporters and uh, leaving out uh, the ones that were mostly affected. Uh, there was a recent video that I saw in which a car ran off at the road at uh, Black Point where the drums used to be. Uh, there is full of ash. So you see the place is not cleaned uh, properly. So the guys skid off the road and uh, nearly end up in the river. Uh, so uh, do you remember when I read that article in which the big man said uh, by June 4th, residents should start returning back to the red zone. Uh, now, I showed you yesterday where Dr. Stinton said uh, that uh, they are not able to make a judgment as yet uh, because uh, some of the equipments uh, need to be replaced. He is talking about uh, rebuilding in areas like Sandibi and the scientist is saying relocate. Imagine. Uh, so much food was imported into St. Vincent and the Grenadines, yet uh, we still have the youths in Kingston uh, begging. An article was published in which a lady said uh, that two of the youths uh, came at her in a kind of way. A uh, son of big business mogul uh, talking about investment in crypto kind and a bit kind and how much they made it. But youths are on the street in Kingston uh, begging right now as we speak. Uh, let me rephrase that statement. A uh, son of the big man. Uh, so what are you telling me? You can't even make a donation out of those cryptocurrencies for the youths that are begging in Kingston. Uh, tell me something. When you go back to your communities, like all the sheep and the goats are walking all over the place, how are you going to identify your animal? Uh, you remember in the last episode, I played a clip. Uh, from Dr. Stinton and he said uh, that there are some days uh, that uh, they cannot uh, monitor the activities going on at the volcano because equipments are damaged. Uh, when you speak uh, the truth, uh, the big man say uh, that there are some people creating mischief. Come back again and say that the politics is serious business. Uh, lift SVG higher with what uh, value added tax, uh, gas price gone up. They haven't risen. Imagine a country is calling uh, to accept evacuees. And you guys are making it uh, so difficult for them. Uh, Nemo, uh, someone reached out to Untold Stories. And uh, said uh, that they were staying in the prospect area. And they were sent out to Bayabu to collect a box of foodstuff. Is that right? Uh, Mr. Big Man, what are your plans going forward? 
to get us out of extreme poverty uh, because uh, from what I see all you are talking about is rebuilding, rebuilding, rebuilding in the same spot, uh, to go back in the same spot of poverty again. Uh, Sanders is in St. Vincent, uh, trying to recruit 500 workers, and uh, uh, that's a good look. But the population in St. Vincent and the Grenadines is over 100,000, and we have extreme poverty. And we have a large number of unemployment. So what is the government uh, doing putting into factories and industries? Uh, the geothermal uh, project was a good project. But it had a lot of risk uh, factors in it. Uh, just like, you know, watch a loss. And, you know, uh, the thing that was hurtful the most. Uh, they were talking, you know about uh, going to try to see if they could get uh, more money again, you know, uh, to try and make another attempt at the project, you know. Boy, oh boy. Uh, they are in their houses uh, with their breads uh, properly buttered while it have some people uh, suffering. Uh, they don't concern. Uh, they know where their meals are coming from. Look at the big man size. He's twice as three times larger than some people. Uh, but it have a lot of lick boots. Who uh, get uh, their jobs to pull string. So they don't even care. Uh, you see. Uh, there are persons who might say. Oh poverty is not only in St. Vincent and the Grenadines alone. Poverty is all over the world. But you see what is going on in St. Vincent. A lot of undercover and underhand things. A lot of mismanagement of monies. Uh, you see. Uh, there is a guy that they call uh, Bigger Bigs. And a situation did arise. Well, like, uh, they were saying uh, that is an allegation uh, that he did not want uh, persons to pass through his property. Uh, you know what uh, they did? Uh, they stopped uh, the man uh, from mining sand in the Rabaka area. And uh, not just the man. Uh, they stopped employment uh, because the man had several employees. The man used to mine sand and build blocks and so forth. So, you not only stop employees, you stop uh, the breadwinners for the families. And you can't even provide employment. Uh, so, you understand what is going on in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Sometimes, uh, they are the ones that are creating poverty on other people. I suspect things are, things are roughly the same. Uh, yes, that is correct. Uh, things are still uh, fairly quiet with the volcano, with the, the sort of low-level unrest. Now, the, the, the arrangements are being made <clears throat> to get the helicopter to put the instrumentation, or you haven't reached that stage yet? Um, we're not quite at that stage yet. Um, as, um, as I was explaining earlier, we, um, we have started uh, work on uh, preparing some sites for new equipment. And uh, now that my colleague, uh, Mr. Lloyd Lynch, is out of quarantine, he will be able to come up to the observatory and start working on preparing the equipment here, which will include the equipment um, that we, we hope to be able to deploy using the helicopter. Um, and once, once we have a, once that, once Mr. Lynch has started uh, um, preparing that equipment, we will have a, a, a better idea of the time frame of when we would like to have the helicopter um, available okay. for us all right okay well I, I i guess i would be informed either directly by you guys or by uh or by michelle forbes um yes. on, on the helicopter issue okay yeah. and for me for me to do anything which i can possibly do all right so the the, the we just we just sit in tight um we back in the, the orange zone and and the as of next week, Tuesday, we can go into the red zone south of south of um, Rabaka. So we should be we should have cleaned up the place well enough between Mungjong right. River and 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 Rabaka. And of course, we the in in the orange zone on the western side, there's still problems in in um, with the ash in Chatterbelair and Fitches. So yes. work has to be concentrated there. Yeah, I must say, um, Daniel, I think, explained um, uh, on Wednesday. 
as to where they put in the emphasis. Mm-hmm. You were saying something, Adam? Sorry. Uh, yes, I was just saying that, you know, as, a, as, as the observatory is based here on the, um, on the western side I of Russia. I didn't hear you there. You, 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 you yes, woke up. I, I am <clears throat> getting it through the song from you. You, you call in from your, from uh, Belmont? Yes, that's correct. Yeah. Uh, so so you Belmont, Pink Song, Havana. So somewhere along the line, is the it's, it's song that muscles. So I didn't quite hear what you said just now. I, I was just saying, as you know, as we are here on the western side of the island, we are up, up just south of Chateau Belair. We're we're very familiar with the uh, the conditions on the ground at this time, and uh, it's, um, yes. some are, are not very pleasant with all the ash that's blowing around. That's for sure. Yes. Well, 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 well. Brax and the Ministry of Works um, are working, and they have a plan to to do the clean up there too. They're working already, and the, but they will they will like intensify. Because look, the activity which has to take place is in construction immediately, agriculture, fisheries. Uh, you said immediately, and you already sent home persons from the shelter. When 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 um when you when you don't find space to pity us on the main event, people go down and a side shows. But politics is not a part of the entertainment industry. Uh, question. Is it a part of lies? Because the world have seen so many lies being told to the Vincentian uh, people. Uh, the big man uh, probably saying, Why aren't all stories keep highlighting these issues? He should just allow the issues. Uh, but we cannot allow that when there is extreme poverty. When the people are suffering, when there are no jobs. Even uh, some of your own supporters said they would never believe you again anything you say. Uh, with that uh, being said, I just want to big up uh, the entire St. Vincent and the Grenadines, uh, the regional islands and the international countries who are praying and supporting us. We thank you. I'm out.